Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing the unboxing for Apocalypse, an expansion for The Others by Call Mini or Not, Guillotine Games and another small studio, I have a problem pronouncing the other name, which I apologise about. Okay guys, the reason why I'm doing this unboxing is due to I had a vote on my very first video, which was the unboxing of the others, for a Kickstarter that I got uh, recently. Unfortunately, us in the UK got it very late compared to other people. But anyway, let's, uh, let's begin by actually opening up. Now, I won't lie, it's the second time I've tried to do the uh, thing, so it's a little bit open already. So my trusty box cutter that normally makes an appearance in all my videos, unfortunately, didn't really get... Uh, shown this time. Okay, so let's open up the box. Now I'm going to turn the light on behind me for a second, so we can get a bit better view. Oh no, a bit of glare. That's not good. Okay, so let's move that there. Let's move that there. Now, I'm guessing, looking on the front here, oh, so you got, that's obviously death in the background by the looks of it there. That's war. I think that would be famine, and that would be pest, uh, plague. Or pestilence. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the back. Okay, let's just zoom in for a quick second over here. And so, I came to the end of times where famine and pestilence consumed all that was fair, and war and death took those that stood against the immortal tide. Yet there was nothing in the great reaping compared to Apocalypse itself, whose mole wide open, I think I said that last part right guys, ready to consume the world. Okay, so you've got a little picture here as well for some other little bits you'll get inside, but we'll open up and have a look. So let's come back out. Please remember guys, you do actually need the uh, board game for others to actually play this. So let's quickly open this up. Will gravity be on my side? Yes it is. Okay, so the first thing we see here is a nice little, oh it's a little wall book. Okay, so there's the others, sort of little rule book. Some nice little things at the back. Oh, obviously that's the mission. Sorry, didn't know that. Okay, boxy little track. Some other little things here. Oh, a couple of missions. Okay, so let's put that over there. End of times. Another little map. Oh, box cutter is going to make an appearance. Let's try and open up, open this up. Uh, I hate this because I don't want to damage the tiles either. So these things can really, really hinder me sometimes, guys. I think it's going to be another one of the moments where I have to do the fast forward again, guys. I'm really sorry because, hey, tiles packaging is a living nightmare for me at the best of times. And I, I might even just edit it out because it's a bit of a joke I'm standing here trying to... Because I don't want to damage the tiles either, guys. And that's almost what I've just done there. I don't mind things being done well, but... At the same time, and I can't actually open it very quickly, which I... Oh, for fuck's sake. Excuse my language. Yeah, I'm going to ruin the tiles if I try and use my box cutter to open this. Um, I don't, maybe... That's a little... Oh, right, I've just damaged the corner of one of the tiles. Great. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you here. As you can see, where I was having a bit of a hard time opening this, I slightly damaged one of the tiles. Okay, sorry about that. Well, that's a giant octopus. Doesn't look cool, does it? No, there's nothing on the other side. But that is, that is cool. Let's put that over there. That looks like a kind of slum, shanty town kind of thing. Oh no, Chinatown. Ooh, sorry. It is actually Chinatown. Uh, a opera. That's kind of cool. A scrapyard, I'm assuming. Oh, no, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so then you've got the apocalyptic track. So, let's put that over there. Well, at least this one I know will, open, will should open quickly for me. But then again, I've been fooled before. Okay, so let's take these out for a minute. All right, so there's the apocalyptic war. Famine, pestilence, and death. Again, let's just put that over here for a second. Another little pack of cards, which hopefully I don't have as hard time to open as 
Oh, great, I think I will. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, but I've damaged a card trying to get this open. Ah, oh, great. Give me a sec, guys. I've got the little plastic bit over this little hit bit here. Now I'm trying to grab that. As you can see, I've damaged the top card there. Okay, so... You've got lightning cannon, lightning cannon, doomsday blade, doomsday's blade, blood shield, blood shield, paladin mark, oh, this must be armour. Okay, so there's some nice little extra bits here. Again, a little annoyed that I may have damaged some stuff. Okay, so let's, I don't really need to do much more than take this off. Okay. I'm going to start off with my... Ah, let's have a look here. All these models actually look really cool. Okay, so I'm going to grab what who I believe is famine. Sorry about that noise, guys. This is a beautiful one. I'm saying, guys, look. Again, something like this you could really easily use for, like, some chaotic guy in 40k, you know, war, you know the old Warhammer or 40k. Nurgle, even. I'm assuming this is famine, anyway. Yeah. I'm sure this is pestilence due to it wearing a gas mask and oh that is just so cool little you know one arm up there another sort of tentacle arm there horrible looking blade that tentacles down yeah probably a little bit of tentacles but this is cool you know they've done a really good job on that so so I'm gonna go war next and again this is really really good look at the sort of like cannons and different guns down one arm and then you've got dirty great big butcher's sword I don't know if you guys see like Warhammer 40k orcs or even blubber orcs but you know they got that sort of thick arm that looks like it's drilled into them and then he looks like he's got a nuclear power point in his back. Oh, that is just so cool. That one really, really is. Now let's bring out Death. Now Death is my favourite kind of from the Four Horsemen. And this does not disappoint. These models, look at the wings on them, guys. I mean, like... Again, this is a very good expansion. Anyone who owns others, uh, I would probably just get this expansion just for the models. These guys just look really, really cool. Okay, let's have a look up here. Like, you've got these bodies that look like they've been devoured by the tentacles. Mouths on some of the end of these tentacles. They look like they're sucking the things in. You know, like, you've got this whole line of teeth and little things on the belts the hooks just saying the armor pieces now guys I, oh, I really wish I could put this is where I do kind of wish I could paint okay guys so now let's just put this back over there like that for a minute also this comes as part of the kickstarter I believe these are Exclusive for the uh, game. We only get two like hero models. Hopefully, again, as I said, guys, I can open this without actually damaging anything this time, like I did last time. Uh, last well, last couple of times. I've almost got it. I've almost got it. <laughs> what is it with these things? I, they always seem to cause me big problems. It's very frustrating, if I'm honest, guys. Uh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Hopefully, I haven't damaged anything doing that, but no, I haven't got it. Uh, got it at last. Right. Okay, so let's just get this open. Okay. There is. is. Okay, not sure how to pronounce that. Can I wait? Can. Can want. Ta? Definitely not have to pronounce that wrong. Hey, this one. Okay, so she's a bruiser. Okay. And the other one is. Bennett. Or Bonnet. So. Keep it down. Okay, so he's a shooter. Okay, so let's um, have a quick look at the actual models. Okay, let's put my hand at the back here so you can focus. 
As I said, I don't think there's actually any real bad models in this set. I think there's some really cool ones. Again, I believe this is like the Kickstarter exclusive stuff here, so... So yeah, that does look really, really, really good. I like the fact he's got a little knife there. Some form of like a uh, assault rifle. Maybe a, a machine gun. What's that? Is that a sash? Yes, a sash. With his knife there. Bullet belt? Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that's the unboxing. I also want to point out that I have everything else. So, for the next videos, would you like one of the sins, which was greed? Greed, lust, and wrath. Sorry about this, guys. It's fine in the mug. All in the box. Greed, lust, wrath, and gluttony. I believe there's one more here. Yes, there is. There's envy. Or MV. Let me turn the light off behind. Would you like me to do the Men of Faith expansion? So I need to move these a little over so I can actually show you the Men of Faith. Or the Sons of Ragnarok. Beta Team. A Marga team, Gamma team, or even Beta, Data, or Delta, sorry. Ah. Okay, guys, if you've liked this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do. If you'd like to vote or leave a comment about this video, again, please do, guys. Um, I hope you're having a good day. I am planning on trying to get the gameplay video done this weekend. A certain little fairy friend of mine has not been too bad recently. Uh, fingers crossed that he can actually be quiet enough not for me to have to worry about him. Okay guys, well, I hope you're all having a good day. I am, but, you know, if you're not, things can only get better guys. Stay positive. Goodbye.